Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap again, and I want to make a pomegranate soap today. Uh, throughout the holidays I saw these round cherry red fruits and I thought, mmm, that's really great inspiration, especially if you've ever looked inside a pomegranate. So I studied it very carefully and I saw that there's basically two kinds of reds that I can see me using in the seeds, and that's a really deep crimson red and like a cherry red. And I noticed that the flesh is sometimes white, but sometimes like a golden, um, light golden color. And the leaves are a nice bright green, so I thought those are the four colors that I wanted to put into this soap. So I also added a color tutorial, and then we'll get on with the soap making. Okay, so I thought I would show you just the mixing of colors first. I'm going to start off with the base colors that I'm going to be using. And they're both related to red. So that's like a cherry red right there. We'll make that into a tint of red by mixing some white into it. So a pink or a red pastel, or we call it a tint of a color when you add white to it. And I'm also going to make a shade of red. Adding some black to that. And I'm also going to add some gray to my original tint of red just to be able to say that that's called a tone of red. So we're dealing with really um, specific kinds of red right now. So I didn't want it just a pastel. So I'm basically adding some black to that also. But still pretty red. And then I'm also going to use a pastel of green, or a tint of green. But that's still not quite the green that I want for this soap. And uh, I can show you how I'm coming up with this. I'll show you this picture of a pomegranate. And I want to pick up on the colors in this picture I found. So I get the color I want. This is all going to be approximate also because you're sort of um, held to the type of micas that you have. But I can get pretty close, I think. A little more green. That's what I want there. And the last thing I want is uh, I'm going to mix a gold mica with titanium dioxide. And yellow is not quite the uh, approximation to actual metallic gold, so I'm going to use a little orange there to compensate. Yeah, that's pretty much what I want. You can call that a pastel of gold. Alright, so let's take a look at these reds together. The reds are really similar, so I could have made this a stronger tone of red by adding more gray to it, but I do want the two reds to be pretty close, because I want a real subtle look. Alright, so now that we're done with that, let's take a look at what they look like next to each other. So here's my tone of red. stronger. So my tone of red. Sort of like a red plum. And then my shade of red next to that.
You might not think that I made this as dark as the real colors of a pomegranate seed, but I always have to tone it down a little bit, otherwise when you use the soap it's going to really bleed a lot, which I don't really want to happen in the soap. And then some of that green, just a little bit, to represent the leaves or stems. And then the gold. Next to the darkness of the red, in comparison, it's going to be the lightest color in the soap, so it's going to be my sort of unquote unquote white of the soap to provide the highlight. And that is going to be the tutorial for the day. I guess the name of this um, concept or color scheme is basically, since those are the base colors, um, when you put two different kinds of the same color together and they're really subtle, it gives a real mm, sophisticated um, color design. So let's see what that looks like in the soap. So there's just one thing different in the blending of the soap this time, and that's there's no milk in this, but there is um, pomegranate juice, and there is some kale and clay, and melted um, shea butter. Um, the juice has turned brownish, so I'm not counting on the juice to add the color to the soap. We'll do that after I blend everything up. So let me blend this up and I'll bring us right to the colors. Okay, I've added the fragrance and I've added the lye and you see how it looks like caramel right now. So I've compensated by making the colors bright and adding a little bit of titanium dioxide to brighten it up a little bit. And it's thickening up too. There's also a lot of sugar in the juice, so that adds to the browning and it will heat up somewhat too. So that's why I made sure that I added not only juice as my liquid, but I also added some distilled water. So let's blend this one first. That's white, gold, and then the browning of the juice. That's really red, mica, and some vibrance pink. And this one's really red with a little bit of black oxide. And here's my lime green. And here's my pistachio mica. And that one is from Rustic Essentials. Okay, so this is looking good. This is the color scheme that I really wanted. Whether it browns more or not, I'm not sure. I'm just going to hope for the best. Oh, it's behaving well. So I looked at photos of pomegranate and I noticed that the pith part of it, let me stir that up a little bit, um, is a little off-white. So I was hoping for a little bit more white than this, but um, this is a nice color. It's got the gold and white in it. And in contrast to the darkness, the dark value of the, the reds, that'll come across as pretty light. I thought it wasn't going to be as liquid, so I'm glad it is behaving. Mm -hmm. 
I like that lime green against those deep reds. This is a real nice plum color. This um, pomegranate fragrance is very good. It's got some tartness to it, so it's not just a sweet fruit scent. And that's, um, I smelled that in a soap and I thought, I really want to work with that. Let's get more of this in there. It's really starting to heat up now. Maybe I better keep some of that for the top. A bit more green. Now is when I should do the chopstick swirl. Let's get the rest of it in there. Wow, that smells great. Okay, so let's see what will I do as a swirl. I like it so much like that. I think I'm just going to clean up the edges. And maybe a little glitter on this. And we'll call it quits. That looks great to me. And let's go to the cutting. Okay, I've been wanting to cut this for a couple days, so it's nice and firm. really want to see what the two types of red did to the soap. Oh yeah, there's definitely... I'll show you this piece, because there's a little green circle in there. wish I could apply on things like that. Smells really good. Again, this is fruity without the real sweet, sweet scent. It's got a little tartness to it. So that's just the creamy white that I wanted for this. As I looked at pictures of pomegranates, the fleshy part that houses the seeds. Um, are, it's sometimes white, but I wanted this uh, kind of creamy off-white, and I got that by mixing some titanium dioxide and some gold mica. That swirl came out nice. So the idea of the two kinds of red it was to capture the look of the seeds. So we look at the pomegranate seeds, they're um, a mix of a real deep crimson red and a more cherry red. So I didn't go real dark because I didn't want the soap to bleed when you use it too much. So this is what I was after. And the swirls are fine because I drop swirled it while the soap was pretty liquid and then I did it some more swirling with a chopstick quite a bit actually. And I managed to get that green dot right in the middle. 
nothing. I almost have to say it smells like it looks. And that's what I try to go for with the soap designs is to kind of capture the fragrance visually. So here's that subtle, but I think more sophisticated color scheme when you combine two colors that are real close to each other. And I'm talking about the two reds. And in, in addition to that, I have the, the green and the beigey color. Cut. And there we go. Well, thanks for watching. And those of you who kind of tuned into the Vibrant Soap Instagram page um, to see my inspiration and all that, thank you for that too. And the subscribers and commenting. It's really nice once I do all this work to sit back and see the comments come in. I really love that part. It's like the reward. So I hope you're having a great new year so far and we'll see you with another video real soon. Bye everybody.